Does an aftermarket air intake actually increase horsepower on your diesel truck? Today, we're gonna find out. So if there's any company that's gonna be able to make an air intake that increases horsepower, it's gonna be Banks. These guys engineer the hell out of all their products. Code Dark Iron will save you 10% off anything Banks. All right, let's change this air filter quick. I want to keep it as honest as possible by using an actual Mopar air filter. Am I retarded? <sighs> All right. <clears throat> there she be. See how bad my air filter was to begin with. I don't think it should be that bad. I changed it in the winter and it's not dusty out. Oh. Mm. It's a little bit gross. It's actually crazy. There's a lot of bugs in it. It's not that bad though. You sure about that? There we go. Put it back together. Oh yeah, now we're rolling. Plug it in. Ready for the dyno. All right, we're gonna do the first run. She sells, she sells, she's, she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, we just finished dynoing the stock intake and we got as an average 434 horsepower and then about 800 foot pounds of torque. So now we're gonna swap intakes and run her again. Whoa. I don't like stopping on the lift like that. If you guys remember last time we did that turbo silencer video, we did it off the lift. I'm not working off the lift this time. We're bringing it down and we're gonna park it in the shop. I burnt myself enough times. Don't wanna deal with that again. That's better. <clears throat> Pull up this guy off. Remember this is all hollow from the last video? Uh-oh. Look, the super scoop. They have picture instructions. Jesus Christ, it's not working. Come on, Luke. Give it to me. Oh, no, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Fucking flyers are eating me, Luke. So we gotta take this whole plastic ram air thing off. This whole thing like this. Just don't know how to separate. Oh, just like that. There you go. There you go. There's the stock one. Just have to transfer these sensors over to the Banks kit. I think I gotta use these new bolts. They thread in, kind of short, but. All right, the sensors are in. Now we gotta transfer these rubber grommets to the, the new Banks one. So now we install the super scoop. Oh yeah, she is in. <laughs> that thing is huge. Cut! Just like that. If it's good, that's nice. With a lot of other kits, I noticed that those rubber, uh, what do you call them? Rubber hoses, like they don't, they don't fit good. It's like they're too big, you know? Or they're too small, that one fit good. So now we're putting this big air filter in. I believe it comes pre-oiled. They usually... Yeah, it's oiled. That is so big, dude. Now I see. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, we gotta get this air filter on. Like that. Okay. Tighten this filter on. All right, so this is all in. We got it plugged in, sensor plugged in. All we have to do is put this um, hood scoop back on. I will say this kit is fitting pretty good. I am quite happy with the installation so far and we're pretty much done, so. There, it's good. Now just put a million clips in.
And of course, the final piece, you cannot forget about the bling. Sheesh, that's nice. Now, regardless of if this thing makes power, I bet you we'll be able to hear the turbo way more because we have the turbo silencer removed and now we got rid of the factory intake. As long as, if she whistles, then I'm happy. All right, we're loaded up on the dyno. Everything is exactly the same as it was before, other than the intake's different. Dude, I can hear the turbo so much more already. Do you hear that? Oh my God, that turbo sounds so good. Okay, well that, that makes it worth it to me already. All right, well, here we go. Man, I can't wait to drive this thing on the street after and listen to the turbo. It's so loud. All right, guys, we got the results. Now, first of all, I would put one of these intakes on my truck strictly just for the sound it makes, but we're really caring about the horsepower here. So the results are 437, 436, and 440, and then torque was right around 800 foot-pounds of torque, which means we gained four horsepower and one foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I do have this baffle removed from my factory intake. Uh, when we did the turbo silencer removal video, I removed this and we saw like a two or three horsepower gain just from removing this. So if you didn't have this removed out of your stock intake, you would probably see like a six or seven horsepower increase. Let's go take it for a drive and see what it sounds like on the highway. Okay, first drive, see what it sounds like. You hear it? That sounds sick. Sounds so good. It's crazy. It's like not a super high pitched wheel or whistle. It's more like kind of like you can hear the whistle, but it's a lot of air. Like you hear the air. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that That's so that awesome. makes it so worth it. Again, if you want to buy one of these, code Dark Iron will save you 10%. If you like the video and you want to show a little more support, you go to darkirondiesel.com, get yourself some super sweet merch. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on another video soon. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it